Welcome to footballgameplan.com, where football makes sense. I'm Tyler Merkovich with the czar of the playbook, Emery Hunt, and we're bringing you college football's FCS previews. McNeese State out of the Southland versus the Southern's Appalachian State, who played a very good game against FBS opponent at ECU last week, but they didn't have Armonte Edwards. Their star quarterback was injured, and this team needs to keep a running back in check, and that's Todd Penland for McNeese State. He is a threat, and he had a great game last year, last uh, week. Three three keys to victory for McNeese. Uh, a heavy dose of that guy you just mentioned, Todd Pen Penland. That is an awesome running back. He's a phenomenal guy. Speed is ridiculous. Quickness is also unquestioned. Number two, Cadet uh, is an Edward, so you can put some pressure on him. He's a redshirt freshman. Get after him, make him make decisions on the run because that that showed last game that he he struggled a little bit at the tail end of the game uh, against ECU when he should have threw the ball away, but he got tackled. Uh, so you can pressure him that he won't hurt you as much as Armani Edwards will be. That's if Armani Edwards is going to be healthy enough to play this game. Uh, number three, defense better learn how to tackle. They missed a lot of tackles last weekend. If they missed tackles is against Appalachian State. Forget about it. It could be a blowout. Uh, also, Derek Foro, continued efficiency. He was efficient last weekend with the football. I like him as a quarterback. He has to maintain that consistency and be more efficient with that football and keep App State's offense off the field. Well, McNeese trailed Henderson State, a D2 program, 24-12, before pulling off 15 unanswered points in the fourth quarter to win 27-24. But I think App State a little too much. They're going to bounce back after an ECU win if Edwards plays or not. If Edwards plays, involve him early, run the spread, you know, get him going because it'll be his season debut. What does Appalachian State need to do to avoid this upset? Well, well number one, Cadet can't play. Don't get me wrong. He's a really good quarterback. He showed me a lot. Uh, he came in. If they would have started Cadet early in that East Carolina game, they would have beat East Carolina. Uh, so he can't play. So uh, McNeese State does have to worry about him. Uh, number two, run Devin Moore. McNeese State last week gave up five and a half yards of carry. Uh, Devin Moore is a really good running back. He's slippery. He can make people miss. So give him the ball a lot. He's going to help exploit that defense. Also, App State has to come out and forget the ECU game. You know, I know it was a heartbreaker. Forget about it. Be prepared for McNeese State because they're going to be a force in the Southland. So come to play because they're going to come to play. They're going to come knock you guys off. So I think App State has just enough talent, uh, even more talent. They have better defense than McNeese. So I think App State is going to win this game. App State is going to bounce back for more FCS previews. Visit footballgameplan.com slash small colleges.